Hi everybody, this is Jimmy from Laser Everything and a lot of people have asked me about my external air assist and how it works and what it does. In this video, I'm going to show you what it is, what it looks like and how it works for me. So stick around and let's burn to learn. Okay, so when you buy the air assist from Amazon, this is what it comes with. The air assist bracket, these different size collars. Now these collars, what happens is you have to find the one that actually fits your lens tube. And none of these will actually fit this lens tube. So what I did was, is I just made a aluminum spacer, which will go in one of these collars, and then the lens tube fits down through, and then you tighten the nut. So when you're done, this is what it looks like. Now, if you notice the difference between mine, the distance from the center of the tube to the back of the screw, it's short. It's a lot shorter. When you look at the bracket that comes from Amazon, it's a lot longer. So what I did is I modified mine, which does two things. Number one, it makes this shorter. So when you're actually in the machine and you're running, and if you get a job that's a little bigger, this nozzle will not bang in the front of your laser because it gets a little bit long. So I made it shorter. That's the one thing. And the other big thing is the angle. The shorter the bracket is, the better the angle for this tube and the air nozzle will come through to hit your 90 degrees to go straight back. It just makes life a lot easier. So with that said, let's put this together and let's run a sign. So here we are in Lightburn. Here is my image and these are my settings for an Ohmtech 100 watt CO2. We're going to make sure it's on fill and it's 375 speed and 16 power. So let's send this over to the machine. Okay everybody, so here's the nozzle installed. Watch the airline. The airline has to be just under the nozzle and facing 90 degrees straight back. And what that's going to do is going to blow all that acrylic soot backwards as it's running. Okay guys, so here we are in the laser. I have the external air assist hooked up. The air hose is hooked to the external air assist for right now because we are going to run the first part of the image with the external air assist. And then for the second half, we're gonna put it in the air hose for the air assist going right straight through the nozzle. The external air assist is hooked up and it's aligned properly. If you look, you can see that the actual outlet for the hose is beneath the nozzle. You don't want it to hit the nozzle because if it does, it'll kind of start melting the nozzle. You don't want that. But it's facing 90 degrees to the back. there it's finished so now we'll take the piece out and we'll bring it to the desk we'll peel the back side and we'll compare the difference okay guys here we have two separate pieces of acrylic with the same logo each were peeled first using the same settings this one was done straight through the nozzle and this one was done with the external air assist now it's pretty obvious you can see that there's no powder here there's hardly any powder at all and when you rub your finger across it you can barely feel anything it's so light that it almost feels embossed rather than dug in this works perfect for lighting up acrylic if you're going to use leds to light up your acrylic this works the best on this side you can see that running straight through the nozzle obviously you have a lot more powder this is the perfect way if you're gonna use this for a plaque or just a regular picture that's not gonna get lit up. It's super white and it will stand out just fine without the assist of any LEDs or lighting to light it up. Now it's taken me a long time to get my head around this. With a sign this size, it's really not gonna matter much, but when you light them up, it's gonna take less power from the LEDs to light this up than it is going through the stock nozzle. Again, with a sign this size, it really doesn't matter much, but at the end of the day, theory is the less depth, the less power it takes for the LED to light it up. This is the internal air assist. We're gonna spin it around. And this is the external air assist. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light these up and I'll show you the difference that way while they're lit up. Hey guys, so here we have two separate pieces of acrylic with the same logo. This one was done with stock air assist. This one was done with a 
external air assist with no paper. So let me see if I can get this closer so you can understand. This one is with the paper on with the stock air assist. It is very deep. The lines are not clear, they're kind of jagged. And you can see your lines in there and it's just rough. It's not the way that I want it to be. With the external air assist, you can see it's a lot smoother. There's no depth to it whatsoever. It's very smooth. The lines are super nice and tight, clean. So now here's my third piece of acrylic. This piece was done peeled with the internal stock air assist. Now, as you can see, the lines are horrible. It's rough, it's deep, and worst of all, you're gonna get these shadows all down through here. See right here, down in the letters? That's I call it washout, and that looks absolutely horrible. The bigger the sign, the worse it looks. Now here we are back with the piece that I used peeled using the external air assist from Light Object. As you can see, the lines are crisp, smooth, without any depth, and they're nicely outlined. You don't have any washout, you don't have any depth, and you don't have any thick lines running through it. The light has to travel from the top to the bottom of the acrylic. The more depth you have in the acrylic, in the engraving, the more light that you're gonna use up as you run down the length of the acrylic. You want the least amount of depth to use the least amount of light to run the whole length of the acrylic. And you'll notice that if you ever do a bigger sign, it really comes apparent when that happens. By using external air assist from Light Object, it's so clean, very nice, no depth, and that is the reason why I use the air assist from Light Object. I am so happy that I finally got the acrylic the way that I want it. Two years ago, I went to a seminar and I got to see this done on a epilogue, which is top of the line. And I'm like, wow, he took a piece of acrylic, he peeled the paper off, he put it on, he engraved it no peeling no nothing and it just turned out perfect and i'm like you know what i need to be able to do this and that was my goal is to be able to get it to where i want it to be i wanted to have the same effect with a lower cost machine and i did it special shout out to alan oliver uh he's the one that actually told me about this and that it actually existed. So thank you, bud, appreciate it. If you got value out of this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so the next time you'll get notified when you get a new video from Laser Everything from Jimmy. Check out the Discord and the Facebook groups, link in the description. Support the channel over at the LMA at masters.lasereverything.net.